today with Trilogy. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Trilogy and save at Trilogy.com. It is so good to be back every morning. Let's make your to-do list. Get everything you need to know before you head out the door. Your to-day list. Get the entire family organized. Healthy back to school youngness. Every day needs today. Still can't see through. People are stressed when they're going on the fly. Why should they trust you? We are now with this long-anticipated counteroffensive. How's it going? What's the goal? What can we do for That former President Trump will not use for the generation of now. It's NBC News Now. Sort of. In Florida today, authorities say at least 16 people were injured when two airboats collided. It happened at a wildlife park in central Florida, south of Orlando. Officials said the boats run by Wild Florida were carrying about 30 people, including the two captains. Two of the injured were in critical but stable condition. And finally, the dramatic rescue of four missing divers off the coast of the Carolinas. They were spotted and pulled to safety in the middle of the night and lived to tell the tale to our Sam Brock. Dramatic new images tonight, released by the U.S. Coast Guard, show a tiny raft bobbing in an endless choppy sea. On that raft, four divers who were missing for more than 15 hours. Once the sun set, then everything changes. The temperatures drop on the surface of the water, the winds pick up. Ben Wiggins and three others huddling together with their vests inflated saw helicopters in the late afternoon. They weren't spotted by rescuers until almost 1 a.m. It was, uh, thank you God, because we were all calling out loud, God, please help us. We, I said to myself, we need you now, we need you now. Coast Guard choppers dropping flares in a raft, then a naval warship, which happened to be nearby, dispatching a team to bring them home. How small is the target that you're looking for? It's almost like you're looking up for a watermelon in the ocean. But by morning's light, it was hugs and answered prayers. We had the families waiting at the top of the dock, and uh, it was just uh, it was a special moment. The improbable out to sea saga, starting with a recreational dive at 9 a.m. Led by Wiggins, who has decades of specialized Navy diving experience. He says he noticed the strong current right away. When they emerged about 45 minutes later, the divers could reach one another, but their boat was almost 300 yards away. When your families saw you all for the first time, what was that moment like? Uh, I, no words. I mean, I just broke down. It's a miracle. The sight of loved ones, creating a sense of relief deeper than any ocean. Sam Brock, NBC News. Quite a story. That's nightly news for this Monday. Thank you for watching. I'm Lester Holt. A true story. Yourself and each other.